What's up, you guys, and welcome back to another deep conversation with your girl, Sean. I hope you're doing well on today. Happy Thursday. Are y'all ready for this three-day weekend? Because, baby, let me tell you how I am, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and get into our conversation. But before we get too deep, y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. But most importantly, go ahead and like the video okay and also be sure to drop down in the comments so we can finish our conversation from there okay also if you did not check my live from last night we were talking about them braxton girls okay and how trina husband is angry at her for grieving her ex-husband so y'all be sure when y'all finish this video y'all head over there and watch the live from last night really good and be sure to like that video as well okay so anyway let's get into cam newton being shady in his caption because he's getting so much flack and the people were on the side of the doctor the therapist the relationship guru or coach or whatever title you want to go by and he ends up changing his title to say 41 year old single therapist gives relationship advice or something like that so he calls out her age and he lets it know her marital status and pretty much shading her in the way of saying that how can she be at her big age of 40 years old 41 to be exact and single and want to give somebody advice now mr cam newton i need you to unloose them tight pants you always wearing okay unloose that little tight shirt you're always wearing how about that and cut your hair and let's try this again because you are definitely letting your panties get all up in your bunch because somebody is telling you something you decide to go on and age shame her and her marital status and feel like she cannot give you advice now let's pose the question right because I ain't really got to go in on Cam Newton. Newton, he'll walk in contradiction himself. So we ain't really got to do that. But let's pose the question and turn the conversation another way. Is it possible for somebody to give advice if they are not in a relationship? So can you give me marriage advice if you've never be, been married can you tell me how to buy a house if you've never bought a home or a car or whatever the case may be are people subject to give advice if they've not been in a situation or currently not in the situation you know or hadn't been in one in a while woo 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 is there a lane to where that exists now when it comes to relationship i do feel like it is a very gray area i don't know if that's straight up black and white i think other things can be black and white like you can't tell me to how what the steps to take for buying a house and you've never taken a step to buy a house you've been living in your apartment condo townhouse or rent all your life you can't tell me how to buy a house or you trying to tell me how to buy a car and you've never taken the steps to buy a car so i feel like in those instances yeah you ain't got too much room to talk but i do feel like in a relationship there is relationship advice is kind of a gray area i don't know if it's so much black and white and her being a single female at the age of 41 do not exempt this woman from being able to give advice or relationship advice because really what it came down to is that you didn't want to hear about the fact that marriage and you're running away from it and you're scared and you're creating all these broken homes shout out to nick canning as well so it's almost given because she she gave you and read you your rights in a professional way now you can't take it and you want to shade her by calling out her age and her marital status for giving you relationship advice how crazy now this not to take in away anything away from dr bryant and her profession and her knowledge and her status and all these things but it also don't take a rocket scientist to tell somebody that you don't need to be shrinking women alone it don't take a rocket science scientist for somebody to tell another adult 
Stop creating these broken homes. Stop creating all these babies. Like it doesn't take all of that, but you're not mature enough to hear it. And it shows in your caption because you want to write and put a 41 year old single. Like what was the point? Like you feel like you hurting her feelings. And at the end of the day, she's a woman who knows what she wants. Are you mad, Mr. Cam Newton, that she's not falling for the game that you're running on Jasmine? And I like Jasmine. Shout out to her. Or that other, or your other baby mama, your first baby mama. Are you mad because she's seeing through the bull crap? You can talk all this fugazi with these other women. And she was like, okay, you full of talk. And she called you out on it. And because she called you out on it, now you're showing how immature and you really proving her right, boo-boo by changing your caption or making your caption of the video a 41 year old single like did you did you think you ate did you think it was funny i don't think it was any of the above i think it was childish and in my opinion you proved her point and having money do not make you a man and the same thing for women having money don't make you a woman it really is your morals and you know your character and all of these things that make you a adult are you accountable can you be held accountable can somebody call you out on your bull crap without you having to make an excuse or validate the reason why you're acting the way you're acting so cam newton newton excuse me you are very childish that was uncaused for and this woman didn't tell you anything wrong now you don't have to agree with everything that that woman says and that's fine that's life we're not going to always agree on everything but to call her age out and her her marital status was just team too much when you were being called out on your bull crap. And so the reality of it is you're saying all these things to appease, you know, other women. And because your money is, you know, I guess what speaks volume for you and make you this man. But at the end of the day, it really is about your character. And why are you more committed to bringing kids in the world than you are being committed to having a relationship with a woman? Because at the end of the day, that child, you're still bound with this woman. I don't care if you never marry the women that you're impregnating. You're still bound to this woman for the rest of your life because they will always be your child and they will always be your child's mother. So... I don't understand the logic behind men go and women because we're allowing it to happen this ain't no scapegoat to put it all on men and the women don't take no accountability because we keep allowing it to happen but at the end of the day men are the head you supposed to be the protector you supposed to be the provider you supposed to be you know the one that leads us out and you are the one that's kind of putting us in a bad situation and when people call you out on it you got the age shame and give marital status all right you guys y'all drop down in the comments and tell me what y'all think i'll see you guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video